guys, John at learningguitarnow.com here, and this this podcast, uh, I want to show you how to play a lick that's uh, something similar to what John Mayer plays in uh, Out of My Mind, I believe is the name of it, and uh, the lick sounds like this, played in the key of D. pretty similar uh it's not exactly like the lick but the point of uh what i like to do in my lessons is uh give you the vibe of the artist and you know what i think he was going for so in uh this little lesson i think he took from two specific influences to play this style of a lick um bb king and eric clapton um you'll hear bb king start off that kind of a phrase <laughs> as well as Eric Clapton, but I think Clapton got it from B.B. King. So it's a pretty uh, cool phrase to begin a solo on. And in this little section, you're going to start on the, uh, you got an intro count in, you're going to one, two, three, and on the fourth uh, count, you hit 12th fret on the A string. I'm using my pinky. And then 9, 12 uh, on the D string major pentatonic scale and then we're going to hammer on the uh, minor third to major third common blues movement uh, 10 to 11th fret on the g string then we're going to end on the 12th fret the fifth interval uh, in the key of d so not ending on the d note ending on the 12th fret which is a uh, a note so you have this thing one two three Great way to start an intro to a slow blues solo. You hear tons of blues artists using that all the time. B.B. King, Clapton, Freddie King, uh, they all just wear that out. So uh, the next step is this fast lick. It changes to the four chord G, and I'm going to bend. Now, right after the first count, you got one. That's when the G chord hits. And you let that hang for a couple of beats. And then I'm going to do this long hammer-on pull-off lick. It's got a lot of cool things happening in it. It's very Eric Clapton-esque, I believe. And just showing you how John Mayer got uh, Eric Clapton's influence in his style. So we're going to play it like this. I'll do it slowly. So let's break it down. It's basically a blues scale, minor pentatonic scale, uh, bending 13th fret of the B string up. Gradually, you don't want to bend it all the way up. That's part of the attitude. It's just gradual bend. I'm also picking above the neck pickup because in the licks like these, you want a smooth round tone. If you pick it back here, you get a different attitude. I think it sounds better, more like John Mayer, if you uh, pick a round the neck pickup. So we've got 10, 12, 10 on the B string, 12 on the G string, hammer on pull off 10, 13, 10, then 12 on the G string, 10 on the B string, then you pull off 12 to 10, 12 on the uh, D string. And then we do this lick. We're just gonna hammer on 10 to 12, but you're gonna bar your first finger and then we're going to hit 10 on the uh, B string. And then right after that, you roll your first finger to hit the minor third, the 10th fret of the G string. So you'd have this. And you bend that. And you hear tons of blues artists use that uh, lick. So, so far we got this. And it's cool to have that B just ring out with it. Like I said, this is not exactly like the lick, but it's pretty pretty close to it. Um, I usually don't learn them exactly note by note. I just learn the cool parts and then put my own stuff in there. So you got that. Next step, pull off uh, 12 to 10 on the D string, and then 12 on A string, 10 on the D string. And then we're gonna walk down the blues scale, 12 and 11 on the A string. Hammer on 10, 11 and pull off back to 10 with the blue scale. Now pinky on the uh, 13th fret of the E string, and then rotate to a uh, 10th fret on the A string, back to 13. 
and then 13-10 at the end. So that little run slowly is this. Next, we're just going to end on the root note, 12th fret of the D string. That's the root, root note, and that is a D note. And cut it off by hitting 10th fret on the G and the B strings and just kind of bending it and cutting it. Not going. Just bend it slightly. So the whole lick slowly again is this. So the thing is just getting the speed because this is a pretty fast lick. So that's about the speed that it's played at. You just want to take it slowly and uh, break it down section by section. First section is this. Second section. So you basically got three sections in this little solo. First part. We're gonna rest till the fourth chord comes in. Wait one beat right after the G chord. One. And then just do the lick and just put it step by step like that. And if you can get this lick down, it'll definitely train you to do your hammer-ons and pull-offs better. Especially that little section right there. Slow. That's how you should be practicing. Start off slow. If you have to play it this slow, Just do it like that so you can get it down and just practice it every day, build up speed. Next section, just practice it slow till you get it. On the last part, when I'm hitting that 12th fret on the D string, I'm muting those bottom strings with my uh, palm here. That's how you get that. Because he usually does stuff like that. You rake the strings, and then, but you're only hitting one note. It sounds a lot more like John Mayer if you do it like that, and it, instead of doing it like this. No, that's not the way it sounds. More like it if you do the rakes, because he's constantly like you know raking a lot of stuff. Then when you learn this lick, you can just kind of change around stuff here and there to uh, make it your own. So he's got a lot of that kind of style, a lot of the raking, a lot of percussive sounding, especially in the blues stuff. A lot of just um, muting those bottom strings and hitting the root note and pulling off to your first finger. It's just a lot of that stuff that he's doing. So um, that's pretty much the lick. Pretty sweet thing to learn, a great exercise to uh, strengthen your chops up. So uh, to learn more about this raking and bending techniques, I have uh, multiple courses about how to do this. Uh, if you like the tab and the backing track associated with this lesson, please think about joining the All Access Pass. Okay, thanks. Have a good one.